step. If you go to the, the billion dollar advocates for fluoridation, the Center for Disease Control have spent billions of our dollars telling us how good it is for us. And if you read very carefully on their webpage, it says over here in a little teeny print that if you've got a baby, you might not want to have them have funny looking spotted teeth. And if you really don't want them having funny looking spotted teeth, which also means funny looking spotted brains, then you should use distilled water to make up your baby formula. Or they should be breastfed. Well, breastfed? Why, why would that make any difference? Mom's drinking the tap water. Well, the way mom is designed, you can try to poison her to death with fluoride and it doesn't come out in breast milk. That's the correct baby food. All the other stuff is junk compared to what the designer put in mom to feed the baby with. And so when you've got poisonous tap water made up with concentrated formula that's got, like soy formula, has got fluoride in it anyway. So you're poisoning the baby, which is an article that I just published with a number of other authors about the in high infant mortality rate in this country. We're higher than almost than any other major developed country in the world. We're, depending on who you're looking at, we're either 47 or 57 in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, and we spend more than the 50 countries ahead of us on our health care. So, Gosh, how come our people are so sick and they're living less, lo lo less time, less longevity than the people in most of those countries? And, and so wh what's the matter with our country? Well, we have money for our medicine. We have money for our water supply. We have adulterated water supplies that you can't do in Europe. The, you, the, Germany stopped it. When East Germany, West Germany, East Germany was fluoridated because the Russians made them do it. West Germany wasn't because they decided it was a, a moral problem of forcing somebody to drink a drug that's not approved and it's not safe and without their consent. So when they reconjoined the Germany and back to a whole country, the new Germany couldn't fluoridate anymore, so they stopped. So they got all these studies showing that when you stop fluoridating Germany, the tooth decay went down. And, and they say, well, uh, 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 they ate better. Well, yeah, they did. But the fluoride in the water has got nothing to do with tooth decay. It is a giant lie. And I can say that affirmatively. And how can you tell they're lying? Is because they refuse to discuss the subject. They walk the other way. They close the door. They, they try to do it behind closed doors. There's a, 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 a wheel, a discussion wheel, that the advocates, Pew, put down for how to sell fluoridation. And they say, don't go here because you're going to lose. And what is here? Oh, endocrine disruption, neurological impairment, toxicity, links to chronic bowel disease, joint disease, hip fracture. Um, have I covered them all? How about neurological impairment? I think I mentioned that. Uh, the, and so, well, why shouldn't we go there? I mean, if it does those things, and there's really no question that it does those things, we need to talk about why they're advocating we expose our entire country to it. It's alleged that it reduces tooth decay. Three different courts have determined there's no solid evidence that that's true. Despite the blah, 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 safe and effective, safe and effective, safe and effective. When you actually get them in court, under oath, they start walking backwards. They walk that back. Well, you know, there was this place in Texas, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what if you put a rat in a cage and you put sugar in his water with fluoride and then this other rat, you put fluoride in his water and no sugar and this other rat over here gets sugar with no fluoride. And so are we going to see any difference? So they don't want to talk about that because that's science. And so all oh, the kids all you know, fall into, oh, science, I don't get to pay attention to science. Well, science is about numbers. And we can show you how they fudge the numbers because they are lying and their lies are obvious. Obvious. They're not being subtle about it, but because they are the government, you can't discuss it with them. The government's given themselves a get out of jail card and that the court, three courts determined it was harmful. Three courts determined there was little evidence of benefit. Three Supreme Courts said, the elected body gets to do that because they have the police powers if they deem it necessary. We gave them a get out of jail card and then we gave them the power to do lethal things to us 
without oversight from us. That's not wise, I don't think, because I can't tell you how many city council meetings I've been to where the elected official says, well, you know, I've heard a lot of people, they give me a lot of paper, and oh, it's so hard to read all that stuff, and I really don't know whether you're right or you're right, but I'm going to have to go with the authority, the American Dollar Association, the ADA, or the Center for Disease Causation, CDC, because they recommend it. Well, yeah, they've always recommended it. But ask them the question, what dose of fluoride will harm an infant? And they come up with, what do you want to know that for? What's your concern? We know it's safe and effective. You know, what, why would we want to talk about numbers? And they tap down sideways and never answer your question. How do you know they're lying? They won't discuss it.